The chords come effortlessly for Athena. The 15-year-old has been playing for as long as she can remember, before she even knew she was sick. I had symptoms since second grade. Athena was eventually diagnosed with cardiomyopathy. Blood wasn't pumping through her heart efficiently. Athena needed a new one. I got on the list in fifth grade, and then two years later, in seventh grade, I had a stroke while I was sleeping. Athena recovered, and after a two-year wait, finally received a new heart. The thing that really um, uh, limits us in pediatrics is that the number of pediatric donors is much smaller than the number of adult donors. But now that wait may be a lot less. Stanford is one of the few hospitals to match patients with donor hearts based on total cardiac volume. Traditionally, the way we've thought of um, size matching, we've used what we call surrogate markers, and that has to do with height and weight. But those markers don't necessarily hold true with children in heart failure. Often, they've stopped growing and have enlarged hearts. And so if you had a 13-year-old that had a heart size that could accommodate a 25-year-old, it's likely that that patient would wait much less on the list. Doctors are able to determine this by comparing chest images of a patient and a donor. What we're doing is essentially performing, from a size standpoint, what would be called a virtual transplant. A critical new step to finding a match sooner. I'm Marty Salt reporting.